Hello, my dear listeners of Daniel's Blood Love. Uh, I'm Dr. Daniel Kim. Daniel Kim, uh, hematologist specialist in Korea, Seoul. I would like to uh, introduce, uh, explain the details of our sensor transplantation, especially the subtype of conditioning Wiseman. I explained that the Eology cell transplantation is composed of two important steps. The first step is the infusion or application of a conditioning regimen to the patient, followed by stem cell infusion. The conditioning regimen has two kind of important function. The first one is myeloablation of the disease cell and the patient's origin stem cell. The second one is uh, immunosuppression. It's, it's uh, very important to, to uh, avoid some immune uh, response to reject the allergy stem cell graft from the donor. So we can uh, classify the condition regimen according to these four types of criteria. First, uh, we can classify the condition resume into two important concepts, the one myeloablative versus non-myeloablative, uh, in other words, reduced intensity conditioning according to the intensity of conditioning. Uh, previously, we used the myeloablative conditioning. The myeloablative conditioning means that it can ablate all the function of the myeloid uh, stem cell. In the myeloid stem cells, we have a very kind, uh, various kinds of uh, immunologic cells, including the uh, myeloblast and lymphoblast. So after receiving this kind of myeloperation, uh, chemotherapy or radiation therapy, the stem cell well, and the, the uh, immune cells of the patient will be ablated totally. So the stem cell is all kind of stem cell is removed from the bone marrow and uh, the, it makes the bone marrow into the hollow space, uh, the empty space. So in this empty space, uh, we can uh, transplant, uh, make trans transplant the patient donor of origin stem cell into the patient uh, bone marrow uh, space. But after the 2010, uh, 2010, around 2000, uh, the hematologist invented the non myeloablative stem cell stem transplantation. The concept of non myeloablative stem cell is that after giving the reduced intensity of chemotherapy and radiation therapy, the uh, part, part of the stem cell in the marrows will be uh, removed and the, the remaining cells will be complete with the uh, donor uh, stem cell uh, in a very uh, immunological mechanism. And after the competition between the uh, patient origin stem cell and donor origin stem cell, uh, in this all case, the donor origin stem cell will be more competent than the patient origin stem cell. So the donor origin stem cell immunologically uh, reject or remove the uh, patient origin disease cells and immune cells and myelo uh, stem cell. So the uh, the advantage of adopting this kind of non myeloblastic stem cell is is a very non toxic when compared with myeloblastic stem cell. The, when we consider the dose intensity of these non myeloblastic stem cells trans transplantation. The conditioning intensity is usually half or one third of the myeloblastic stem cell. So, after receiving this kind of mild non myeloblastic conditioning, patient will be tolerable to this kind of uh, chemotherapy or radiation therapy. So, uh, after receiving the non myeloblastic stem cell, even the elderly patient or the patient with comorbidity, they can tolerate the, the allergen stem cell very, very easy way and the treatment related mortality it will be decreasing when compared with the myeloblastic stem cell transplantation. 
So after adopting this kind of non-bioelectrical stem cell transplantation and the conditioning, we can uh, transplant a elderly patient more than 60 year old and a patient with some comorbidities such as cardiac problem, uh, liver problem, and kidney problem. So we can extend the age groups, age limitation up to 70 year old for especially in specific situation for the allergen cell transplantation. The second criteria for the classifying the conditioning resume is the type of conditioning for uh, suppressing the bone marrow function and the immunological rejection. We can use the total body irradiation. The irradiation is a kind of radiation therapy. After adapting this kind of uh, radiation therapy, the patient's own uh, immunological cell as well as the uh, leukemia cell and malignant cell would be removed from the body. Uh, uh, and the advantage of this total body irradiation is that we can uh, reduce the, some mucositis, which is related with the chemotherapy induced toxicity. And for very, very, uh, for the uh, chemotherapy resistant to malignant cell, some and sometimes the total body irradiation can kill such kind of malignant cell which has very, uh, a very uh, specific, very uh, severe, uh, uh, severe resistance to chemotherapy. So uh, we can classify the uh, conditioning into two groups. The first one is total body irradiation versus long total body irradiation based conditioning. And well, the total body irradiation uh, based conditioning, we can use the total body irradiation plus resistance intensity chemotherapy. But when we adapted the non TBI based conditioning, the chemotherapy, the, the conditioning is consisting of uh, uh, composed of only chemotherapy agent alone. The third one is according to the donor time. So we can use uh, various kinds of uh, allergen cell stem cell trans uh, transplantation donor according to the HLA matchness and the relationship between the donor and the patient. So uh, for the understanding of this concept, we need to understand the concept of human leukocyte antigen. The human leukocyte antigen usually consists composed of 10 antigens such as HRA A, B, C, D, R, D, Q. And this HLA is usually uh, exist uh, in a pair in a both pairs of a chromosomes. So uh, this uh, HRA is usually composed of the five pairs, uh, a, HRA A, B, C, D, R, D, Q, and in a similar way, A, B, C, D, R, D, Q in a uh, anti, 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 anticipated uh, chromosome. So, um, if the old HLA uh, are matched totally, and if the donor is uh, uh, has a relationship with the patient in a sibling con sibling situation. In other words, if the patient is the brother or sister of the donor, we can uh, we can uh, designate this donor as matched sibling donor. Uh, basically, the matched sibling donor is the best. Uh, best option for the allergen cell transplantation because the uh, all the transplantation outcome is best when we use matched sibling donor. But recently, the availability of a matched sibling donor is now limited because we don't have uh, enough uh, sibling and the number of children is now decreasing. So uh, instead of using the matched sibling donor, we can use the uh, matched or related donor from the uh, allergen stem cell uh, donor volunteer group. So in each country, 
and they have their own LJ stem cell donor bank registry and they usually register the HRA type A, B, C from the volunteer of the LJ stem cell donor. So if we choose to use the uh, choose to use the uh, use uh, the embattled unrelated donor, we can use the patient HRA typing and uh, search for the uh, all available allergen stem cell donor from the donor registry and we can find uh, some possible candidate for the donation and after uh, li is listing the donor group according to the, their age, sex, gender and the availability of the donor and the fire decision of the donor and we can uh, check the other HRA deal, DQ and if all five pairs of HRA are full matched we can uh, mention this donor as matched or related donor. When compared with the matched sibling donor and the matched or related donor according to the transplantation outcome and really a specific disease such as um, uh, aplastic anemia, the matched sibling donor is preferable to the matched unrelated donor because matched sibling donor has low a uh, treatment with mortality, low graft rejection, low GBHD instance, but in uh, other diseases, especially the acute leukemia or the lymphoma and myeloma, the overall outcome of a matched sibling donor and a matched unrelated donors are almost the same. So if we don't have a, a matched sibling donor, we can use the matched unrelated donor instead of a matched sibling donor in a successful way. But for some times, we don't have any matched unrelated donor in a situation we can use the alternative donor, such as partially matched unrelated donor. So when a matched unrelated donor has the HLA and the HRA typing, of nine of the nine of the HRA typing is are same with the patient HRA. We can uh, the we can mention this kind of donor as partially mismatched. Uh, or partially matched or related donor and if the one HRA locus is different between the donor and the patient we can use this partially matched or related donor uh, successful way uh, even though the outcome is uh, less uh, less comparable uh, less uh, favorable to the match full matched or related donor nowadays we can use the half identical family layer donor uh, basically, the uh, HLA between uh, HLA typing between the patient uh, and the uh, their uh, their uh, father and mother or their offsprings are uh, comparable, uh, perfectly uh, same in half way. So, so the HLA type of the half HLA will be uh, perfectly match it in a sibling a situation or the, in the familiar uh, relationship. So we can use the stem cell source from the half identical donor, uh, especially from their uh, patient uh, uh, parents or upper spleen. Uh, and uh, when we compare the outcome of a half identical familiar donor's outcome between the matched or related donors, the almost the same outcomes can be uh, achieved from the allergen cell transplantation. So nowadays, the use of haploidentical familiar donor is now increasing uh, now day by day. And finally, uh, we can classify the allergen stem cell transplantation type into two kinds of uh, uh, stem cell transplantation according to the stem cell source. If we use bone marrow stem cell, we can mention this kind of stem cell transplantation as bone marrow stem cell transplantation. But, uh, you know, the bone marrow stem cell is very, very hard to achieve again. Uh, 
from the uh, patient to donors uh, Elia Bone. Uh, the donor usually experience uh, more than 100 times of the uh, puncture of the Elia Bone when we get the hematopoietic uh, stem cell from the bone marrow. So instead of getting some stem cell cells, so stem cell from the, the bone marrow, we usually the purple stem cell uh, from the purple blood of the donors. When the donor is available, a donor can uh, donate their blood stem cell uh, using some catheter from their uh, purple, purple vein and well, the blood from the their purple blood will be circulated in the machine and the machine usually gets some stem cell and uh, give back the other cells to the donors in a successful way. And using this kind of method, we can achieve the purple stem cell in a very successful way. So when we compare the stem cell outcome, stem cell transplantation outcome between the bone marrow stem cell transplantation and purple blood stem cell transplantation, so these two kinds of stem cell transplantation are almost comparable to in, in, in terms of the uh, overall outcome such as uh, uh, overall survivor, the tumor treatment related mortality, and the, the GBH instance. Uh, frankly speaking, the GBH instance is usually increased when we use the purple blood stem cell, but for the uh, uh, hematology malignancies such as a fifth leukemia, the GBH the increase is sometimes beneficial in terms that the, the uh, some relapse instance is also decreased when the GBH instance is also increased. So, except the uh, aplastic anemia, we can use the bone marrow stem cell as well as the peripheral blood in the same way. So, I explained the four types of classification according to the intensity of conditioning, type of conditioning, and donor type, and the stem cell source. So when we combine this concept, we can classify each allergy cell transplantation in a various way. For example, if a patient will receive some mild ablative conditioning using the non-TBI conditioning from the matched sibling donor, a bone marrow stem cell, we can mention or uh, assign this kind of allergy cell transplantation as Myeloabrative, non TBI, uh, 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 bone marrow stem cell transplantation from matched sibling donor. For other example, if the patient receives a non myeloablative conditioning, we using the total body irradiation from the haploidentical familiar donor using the peripheral blood stem cell, we can mention this kind of uh, allergen cell transplantation as non-myeloblative, non-TBI, uh, paper blood stem cell transplantation from haploidic and familiar donor. So when we use this kind of terms, we need to understand this kind of concept to classify the uh, type of uh, allergen cell transplantation according to this kind of some, uh, some concept and uh, when we understand the static kind of allergen cell transplantation, please remember that this kind of classification will be applied to the or each allergen cell transplantation. Thank you for your listening, and I hope that all the patients who has or struggled with the uh, hematologist disease and their family will be happy and be healthy. Thank you so much for your listening.